Okay, this video is going to show the very simple modification for how to get the work bands active on the Kenwood TS-130 SE. Apparently, when this radio was made, the work bands were pre-approved but were not yet legally in use. So the work bands, as you can see, uh, are included. However, from the factory, they are receive only. This radio has a very simple mod. There's a few ways to go about it. The easiest way that I found is just to pull a simple J5 wire. <clears throat> Keep in mind, um, the owner's manual for this radio, which you can't find from various sources online, uh, does explain how to do this process. However, it doesn't clearly explain without, as far as I know, looking at a schematic uh, where the wire is. So I'm gonna show you in this video. As you can see, the radio is power off, powered off, of course, before you uh, go messing around with any electronic device. You should always make sure that it's, it's powered down and there's no energy running through any circuits. Um, so the, the cover is off. Very simple to take off the cover. Um, anybody can do it with a simple, a simple uh, screwdriver. Um, so, on the, off to the right-hand side of the radio by your mic gain and your uh, RF gain, just look right up here and you see that there is a brown wire running from uh, that area where all these other wires lead off from the uh, from the controls here on the right hand side uh, however the wire clearly goes its own direction away from all these brightly colored cables right here um, looking down and I don't know if we can get it with the light but if you actually look down in there you will see that this brown cable is actually labeled J5 and I will pull it and you should be able to see that label So, uh, I don't know that it's in there, um, but clearly that, that is very easy to see in there um, when you're actually looking at it straight down without my phone, <laughs> but it's the only brown cable, it really stands out, and it has a clear plastic sleeve that is highly distinguishable from everything else, and it, like you, like you just saw, it just pulls right out of there. It's really easy to come out. So if you have a TS-130 and the work bands are not functioning, it's a very simple modification. Uh, almost anybody can do it. Again, please take the proper safety precautions, um, especially powering down your unit, making sure there's no power uh, running through the unit before you do this modification. So I uh, hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.